and welcome to Microsurgical Endodontics. I'm Alan Nisse with a quick tutorial on the post-operative healing and biocompatibility of the endosequence root repair material and putty. This is the case of a tooth number 14 that was referred to me for epicoectomy. The patient had a chief complaint of discomfort upon chewing and the tooth had a provisional crown to replace an older crown. The new crown had been fabricated and was about to be cemented when the patient developed mild discomfort upon chewing. Although in these situations I would prefer to have a full disassembly and non-surgical retreatment of all root canals due to the request by the patient's restorative dentist who had already fabricated the final crown, we decided to do an apicoectomy to address the buccal roots and simply wash the parallel root since it showed no periapical pathology. However, an abnormal radio-opaque segment was noted at the apex of the post in the parallel root. During the apicoectomy, the three buccal canals were located and gutta percha was removed with the aid of ultrasonics deep inside the root canal. A mid-operative radiograph shows the depth of removal of the gutta percha during the retropreparation using ultrasonics. The retropreps were then filled with the combination of endosequenced root repair material and putty technique, which I have described in previous tutorials. The patient was seen for post-operative appointments and the area healed uneventfully. One year follow-up shows complete healing around the buccal roots. However, two years later, a sinus tract 